Hello, this is the AVIT department, Westminster Computer Lab. Uh, today we want to talk about a little bit about the desktop and uh, some common um, elements of the desktop, some mouse operations that you may find useful, uh, as well as um, valuable shortcut keys. And of course, uh, an area where to go uh, to get help as well, uh, to learn more about these different features. Uh, just to uh, let you know, the uh, what we're looking at right now is the desktop. It really resembles your work desk. Uh, that's why they call it the desktop. And on the desktop there are icons. Uh, these are program or application icons. Uh, sometimes icons can represent uh, files, documents that you're working on, pictures, uh, links to uh, various web pages, um, so on and so forth. Uh, down on the bottom is a docking station. Now, traditionally with Ubuntu Linux, uh, there are panels. Um, this uh, computer lab at Westminster has been modified to take advantage of a um, docking station panel, uh, which, is, which resembles more like a Mac OS X uh, type operating system. And in order to launch applications, you can just click on any of these icons, or you can click on when you're in the teacher account uh, to the main menu. If a main menu is brought up or some sort of menu is brought up, you can always press the escape key to abort the menu or another way is to click the pointer away from the menu um, to turn off that menu. Some accounts, like the Jam accounts, uh, don't have menu. Um, in a way, it allows the uh, teacher to have a little bit more control on what the students do um, and not get distracted while doing lessons. Um, having menu or not having menu really depends on the type of computer account and what the capabilities um, are of that account and what has been requested by the teachers. In order to operate in, the, uh, in this workspace, um, you need um, obviously to um, master the mouse. Uh, basically you're looking at the mouse pointer. Um, we're moving that by um, touching the um, uh, mouse pad, uh, which is on the wireless keyboard device. Um, and one of the first basic um, operations of a mouse is pointing, just um, pointing on a particular object. Another um, common mouse operation is clicking. So for example, if I'm here pointing on grab work and I click the left mouse button, and clicking by default means clicking the left mouse button. Uh, it means to click once and uh, automatically it's done something. It's set the focus to this particular icon. If for some reason I wanted to launch uh, a, uh, an application, then um, you can double click on the icon. For example, if I wanted to start the workstations, I can point and double click and you can do this uh, two ways on the wireless keyboard. You can uh, double click the left uh, um, touchpad button. You can also press the, just press with your thumb really quickly two times in succession on the pad itself and that constitutes a double click. Another type of operation is something called right click, which means that you click the right mouse button, or in this case the right touchpad button. And it brings up a context menu um, that allows you more options for that particular object that you were pointing on. Another uh, type of operation is middle click, where you would click the middle um, mouse button. Um, these are for various um, program defined purposes. Um, for example, in some Ubuntu uh, recording music studio applications, um, you can middle click while um, moving uh, on a um, Bristol organ um, um, device controller um, while moving your USB musical keyboard controller and it, um, it will uh, um, make a link uh, between your keyboard and the actual software application. Uh, you can also um, um, achieve the same thing by a uh, middle click by if you don't have a middle mouse button by uh, clicking on simultaneously the left and right mouse button at the same time. Dragging is, well let me bring up an application here that we can play around to demonstrate dragging. Bring up a calculator. Dragging is simply 
pointing onto the title bar of the application, which would be in this case the blue area up at the top that says calculator, and hold down the left mouse button. And while holding it down, you just move the, your mouse or your pointer, and this is dragging. It's actually dragging the particular object. Very useful for other things like resizing. Um, this one doesn't allow for resizing, but uh, we'll talk about resizing a little bit later on. And scrolling, um, you can, there's normally uh, with a lot of mouses these days, there's a scrolling um, uh, button, or the middle button allows for scrolling, which can allow to change focus to zoom in on various applications. It's more of an application de defined um, uh, requirement or feature. Let's go in and talk a little bit about the uh, elements of a window. It's always a good idea to learn how to use the jargon. So, for example, I am just going to open up a, an application here. Um, I'll open up uh, OpenOffice uh, for the word processor. And this is a typical window. Uh, there are different elements to this window. There is the uh, the window title bar up at the top that helps to define um, the title of the application. Also useful in uh, operating systems that have panels that when you minimize it, uh, you know that the minimize application uh, relates to what application from the title itself. Now there are other elements uh, to the uh, window as well though. Uh, there's something over on the top left hand corner and if you click onto it, it uh, brings up a context menu. This is called the system menu that does various features like move, resize, maximize, minimize, and uh, allow certain um, aspects like always visible in the workspace or always on top or uh, just uh, various uh, features that are available. If you wanted to get rid of it, uh, you just press the escape key. You might notice that there are some buttons that are on the uh, right hand side. Um, traditionally. And uh, even though we're in Linux, uh, Ubuntu Linux, uh, the, uh, the uh, features are very same, standardized. Uh, this button here indicates minimize. So if you click onto it, it minimizes the application. And you can go down to the uh, docking station and you see that there's a triangle underneath that application indicating it's minimized. And if you click onto it, you, you restore it back to the original uh, uh, window. Uh, the middle one, it looks like a little box, and it's basically uh, um, maximize or restore. So if I click onto it, uh, it had been already maximized. And when I clicked onto it, uh, now it's restoring back to the original size. Um, while we're here, just uh, understand that the sides here are now, um, they're really boundaries of the application window. And if you notice, that when I bring over the pointer, the pointer changes to different shapes for different uh, purposes, in this case to resize um, the window, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And the uh, and if I click onto it again, it uh, maximizes that window, and the letter X, the button X is pretty much uh, universal, indicating to uh, close that application window. Just going through some uh, basic uh, operations here. To move the window, uh, that would require, as I mentioned earlier, dragging. So click on, click and drag onto the window title bar and that actually allows you to move uh, the application. Um, another one is to resize. Um, you can't resize when it's maximized, uh, but certainly when it's not maximized you can do that, uh, depending on the application if the application allows you to do that. Normally if you don't see a, um, a middle button in the application it indicates that it cannot be maximized. Um, if you, uh, for example, if I want to make it thinner, I can go to boundary, wait to see the pointer change, and then drag the mouse over and I'm changing the size. I can do the same thing by affecting the height. A little trick is if I want flexibility of the um, width and height at the same time, just go to the corner and you notice yet again a slightly different icon for the pointer to allow us to resize the window. By the way, just as an interesting feature, very unique uh, to Linux and not Windows, is if you double click onto the window title bar, normally in Windows it maximizes it, but if I double click into this side, oh, and it does the same thing here, okay. My mistake, I'm a little bit out of touch with it. Um, uh, it used to roll up the actual uh, um, 
window itself, but it's really gotten so similar to Microsoft uh, uh, operating system that, that, that this is indeed a pleasant surprise, so I stand corrected. Um, sometimes, you know, it's great to have the mouse, but sometimes uh, people are, can be more efficient uh, when um, using shortcut keys uh, or a combination of both, uh, mouse and shortcut keys. Um, certainly when I work away in uh, coding, doing a lot of uh, intensive uh, document generation, um, sometimes I feel more comfortable doing things on, in the keyboard than I do with the mouse, uh, simply because um, I joke that I um, operate at Mach 3, very high speed when doing this stuff. Um, to tell you the truth, uh, and I'm just going to type in junk here, um, the movement keys um, are pretty much the same in, um, in uh, Linux uh, as they are in Microsoft. Uh, so again, a lot of misconceptions here with the Ubuntu Linux, with Linux in general, oh, I have to reinvent the wheel, I have to learn things. No, you'd actually be pleasantly surprised. There's a lot, there's more similarities than there are differences. Um, for example, if, uh, well, I'll just type in a few more lines here, just to keep things consistent. For example, if I want to go to the beginning of the line, I press the home button. If I want to go to the end of that current line I'm on, I press N. Just like in Windows, if I want to go to the beginning of the document, it's Control, and then hold down the Control key and tap Home. It takes you to the beginning of the document. If you want to go to the end of the document, hold down the Control key and tap N. And now I'm down at the end of the document. I'm just going to press Home to go to the beginning of the last line. To move by Word, uh, you press Control right arrow to move to the next word or control left arrow to move to the previous word. Just like in Microsoft, if I want to, with sh uh, keyboard shortcuts, highlight something, I can press shift, control, and then right arrow key, and I'm highlighting now entire words. If I want to select everything, I can press the control key and then tap while holding down the control key, the letter A. And it makes a selection for everything. Escape unselects. So, uh, let me go to the beginning of the document, so control home. Let me select the first two words. So I'm pressing control, right arrow key. Let me copy that. Well, again, control C copies, just like in Microsoft uh, operating system. Now I want to go to the end of the document, so control N. I'm going to press enter to go down to the next line. To paste in what I had uh, copied, control V. We don't say control P, you would think it's intuitive. I mean, control C was for copy, but control P is for print. Control S is for save. Control O is to open a document. Control V is to paste. One last thing I want to show you, it's not so much, um, well, a couple of things I want to show you. One is. If you notice up at the uh, Open Office Writer, there's a menu, just like in Microsoft Office. If I want to bring up the file menu by shortcut key, um, you press the Alt key plus the letter that's underlined, uh, the menu letter that's underlined. So if I want to bring up the Edit menu, I would simply press Alt E, and it brings up the Edit menu. And even with those menus, uh, many of them show you what the shortcut keys are. So from the best of both worlds. I'm just going to press Escape here. The final thing that I really want to talk about is if I'm working with multiple applications. So I'm just going to launch up uh, the web browser as well. Okay, um, Alt-Tab, again, absolutely the same as in Microsoft uh, operating system. So Alt-Tab switches between documents. The Windows key, and then pressing the letter D, nothing happens. Sometimes these are where little differences occur between uh, Linux and uh, Microsoft. Um, if on the other hand, I press Control Alt D, it may show the desktop. In other situations, if I press um, uh, the Windows key or hold it down and tap the letter D, uh, then it actually will clear the desktop. If I want to launch an application, Alt F2, should bring up the uh, run dialog box. 
If I'm interested in closing an application very quickly, just like in Microsoft uh, operating system, Alt F4 closes the actual application. Be careful, there's a big difference between closing an application window and closing a document window. For example, in OpenOffice Writer, right now the application window is open, that's very true, but also consider the text that's inside here. The text that's inside here is your actual document. So if I wanted to press Control F4, uh, that, should contr that should actually close the document, uh, but if I press Alt F4, uh, that closes the, uh, the uh, application itself. So there are these little differences uh, uh, to be aware of, subtle differences in shortcut keys. That's about all I wanted to talk about today. This is kind of a bare bones survival guide on how to work around in the operating system. And if you require any additional um, um, information, uh, go to our resource here, the Westminster Computer Lab Guide on the side. If you go to the online computer, area. You can go into tutorials uh, for um, Computer Lab Basics and take a look at the common Windows operation shortcut keys. And in addition to that, uh, you can view this YouTube video under um, Computer Lab Basics, um, uh, common Windows operation shortcut keys. A lot of uh, flexibility here for you, again, because we're AVIT department and we really, really do want to help you out. We are there for you, we support you, and we want you to be successful and uh, to be the best you can be. Talk to you later.